All right, it's June 27th, 2023. My name's Timothy French. We're in Winsboro, South Carolina to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started right here at the marketplace. Yes, right here in the center of town, there's a clock they put on top of it. Everything would have happened at one time right here in this town. There's old Rev Park right there and they got a few buildings there, but they're empty. Nice little garden there. and a, It's like a Fairfield Market back there in the back. Well, let's get started up through here, like I said check this town out it's an old town been here since the 1700s named after Richard Wynn come up here and bought a bunch of land him and his brothers some other people got this town started let's see if we can jump across real here real quick take a better look Sun. Ooh. <laughs> see that water right there I'm turning away from it because I, I came here earlier and I've already walked through here one time and that's Sprinkler put a drop of water right there on my lens. I hope I, I hope I missed it this time. Well, this is where we started before. <laughs> There's that evil sprinkler right there. Let's hope it didn't get me again. Cause I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. Yeah, there's those arch bays. would have people in there. Using that as a market. It's beautiful down through here. If you go out that way there, there's some beautiful homes down there. And if you turn left, there's a, a Confederate Memorial down there and it used to sit right here in the center of this street because I saw a picture of it in an old photo from a site I went to across the ways that's their that's their courthouse over there well, let's jump back across real quick go down this way first pretty good sized town <clears throat> Winsboro Time well spent, chartered 1785, like I said, 1700s. Check this mural right here. Old train coming out. What I really like is how they did the horses. <clears throat> Almost like a 3D effect of them coming out of the building there. See how it does it? <laughs> that would be my thumbnail, I think. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, town with a lot of history, a lot of old homes. I was looking for a place to park and I went on side we're facing now and then the side behind me where I saw that uh, memorial different types of style but those southern type houses uh, that you're used to seeing down in these areas all over the place there goes a lizard he's on the run right here at the Brazilian wax store maybe he's going in there to get cleaned up I don't know some of these buildings are looking rough though and uh, these people come in here it's not too far from Columbia and I guess they consider a bedroom community of Columbia but I think it can stand on its own and a lot of those houses are fixed up and the people living in them there's some that need to be fixed up so if you want an opportunity to come in and help revitalize the town this would be a good one to do this was appliance and furniture store at one time it's empty it looks like <laughs> got a little chair just sitting out there Wind's blowing a little bit, but it feels good. <laughs> Looks like somebody tried to pressure wash the sidewalk, but if they got paid to do that, they did a crappy job because they missed a lot of spots. <laughs> I, reason I noticed it is I've been pressure washing my sidewalk and boat ramp for my 4th of July party coming up, trying to get it cleaned up. And if you don't do it evenly, you'll get a little marks. But I did a lot better than this. <laughs> That's a dentist place right there. Uh oh, shoes done come untied. Shoes don't come untied. I better be careful. Let me go down here and tie it because I know sure enough I'm going to get stuck. Trip on it. I'll hold on just a minute. Let me do it. Alright, I'm back. Tied my shoe back. Got a historical, mar uh, historical marker here for a William Porcher. Dubose, I don't know how to say it. Noted author, theologian, born on this site in 1856. I don't know nothing about it, maybe you guys do. And there's a church down there, got a historical marker too, and they got it painted up real nice. Yeah, got Winsboro restaurant over there. Well, let's turn around and get back. They got a barber shop over there where them guys are sitting and talking. Let's see if we can get across. Hey! I'm just curious, what are you videoing? 
I am, uh, I've got a YouTube channel. I'm going to all the towns in North Carolina and South Carolina just to encourage people to come back to town and support their town businesses and uh, you kind of help things get revitalized and all. That's nice. Yeah. And who are you with again? I got a YouTube channel called All Right with Timothy French. All Right? Yes, yeah, all one word with Timothy French. And uh, if, you look, if you look, you want to see if I did a town or not, you can type in the town name and the, and the state and put All Right by it and it'll come back to the top of the search. Do you have a business card by chance? I, I did have it. I don't have any now. <laughs> and so. it's All All Right, one word. A-L-L or A-L? A-L. A-L. I'm like just saying, all right, I let's go. Write it down. <laughs> okay. yeah, well, it's nice chatting. Yeah, no problem. Have a uh, blessed day, sir. You too. All right, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, got a nice little building there. There's a look back. Got a lot of old buildings. Even back there in the back, it's clean. The whole town's been cleaned. Like I said, the sidewalks could be pressure washed, but I mean, that's that's a lot of them. Got them old designs. I believe there are bolts in behind there to help hold the wall in. This is the artist co-op co -op right here. It's not open today, it's a Tuesday. I guess you can bring your artwork in here and buy and sell. So that's good. Got a couple of old I guess dolls kind of my little mini scarecrows. <laughs> they got a little place right here with the chicken. Yeah, got a big chicken. Got museums up away, farmers market, Savvy Nail Bar, Wax Queen, Tea Room, Fairfield Properties Artist Co op right there, and that's Mule right there again. That's cool. They got this place back here, Fairfield Properties, Wanda Carnes. I guess their parking lot is parked with Jin Jin. It says your own risk. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but they got a little squirrel bridge there. Maybe they're telling them squirrels that do it at your own risk. Bird houses, lights. You see how it lights up? So maybe they have events back here. That'd be cool. It'd be a nice place to set up a, a brewery. You know, come in here and drink, have games and all. Got half a sign right there. Welcome to Winsboro, 1774. Little eagle flying up. Yeah. Just a slow look back. And just give you reference of it for the whole town there. There's the side we went down. There's the clock tower. Up ahead. Got a tree they planted here. Just one thing they could use more trees. This would be beautiful if it was tree lined. Of course, that's just my preference. I like towns with trees. Got a tax service there. Got Vicky's hype here, here, but it is no longer here. As you can see, you can see right around, right to the sky. Condemned, and it's for sale. The guy should have tried to sell it for it. Got fell apart. Might have made some money on it. There's that beautiful marketplace there and clock tower. I think this is a bank on this right side, but it don't have a name. But I saw a teller. Sign that said closed. There's a look at one of the streets there. And here's where we parked over it. This building up here is the courthouse. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but Winsboro is the county seat for Fairfield County. And this is their historic courthouse and they're renovating. Settled on land of the Wynn family in 1780. A lot of history here. A lot of people come through here. Her family fought in the Revolutionary War. A lot of battles. Yeah, regulator movement. Talk about all that. And got these beautiful steps here. You can just imagine them Southern women coming down in their long dresses and umbrellas and a fan. Big old bank right here. About the size of the courthouse. Yeah, old bankers always getting rich, ain't they? There's the other side. They do have a pharmacy. Medical equipment there. Owens Inc. looks closed. I don't know about that realtor. 
the voice of Fairfield County is. I don't know what that is. If I live here, let me know. And the insurance of Fairfield, but it says computer repair now. <laughs> I don't know why people leave the old sign up and then put the new sign down like that. They should take the old sign unless it's built into the building and put their sign up, but I guess it costs money. So you got the beauty supply, it says best for less, but I think it's the beauty supply now. Here's that to be stitched boutique. And it don't look like it's open. I had to guess because I can see all the way out the back. We got a park here. Yeah, yeah I saw that path when I saw, that's where I saw that. I think it's parks where that memorial is. Good thing for kids to do. Got a gazebo. I guess you can go up here and play some music. Yeah, that was probably a big department store at one time. Cornerstone assembly right here, mural. And then there's the Cornwallis House Tea Company. I like it, it's open, but they need to do some painting. Come on. I'm all for the old look, but this is too old looking. <laughs> Fix it up, you did the inside nice. A little paint goes a long ways to help these uh, downtowns look good. Scrape the windows and clean them up real good. Shades, shades of blue. Yeah. Just paint them up a little bit. Got a sports bar here. They're dancing inside. <laughs> and my first time I come through here when I had that water drop on my lens, I saw it, it said restaurant next door and I was looking, is it over here? Uh, what's over here? And then I got RND. That's the name of it, <laughs> restaurant next door. I wonder how many times people got confused. Like me, <laughs> I don't know. I got the donut guy right here. I guess he opens on other days. I couldn't ever find a day. All those days are listed there, but they don't have any times. So I hope he's open. There's a church bell behind me. That's cool. Or that might be that marketplace bell. I bet. I'm trying to see if it's actually moving. It's a lot of times it's just speakers. Fairfield. Conservation District. Peace on Earth consignment. Right there. And we're at the end. So there's a house may be too far gone. Big house, it could be fixed up maybe. If you go back there, you can see one on the corner. There's a bunch of them down that way and on this back street too. So you're looking for an old Southern style house to live in or a town that's on its way to be being revitalized. I believe you'd find it right here in Winsboro. Like I said, it's not too far from Columbia. No, not too far from Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, I think I'm gonna end it right here since most of the stores on the other side are closed and we done looked at them. So I hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour of Winsboro, South Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.